actually, instead of going into gymnastics, uh, my Earth Mother put me in ballet, and I hated it. You are the best. I hated it because my teacher was really mean, and uh, she made me feel very... Uh, she made me feel that my body type was not adequate for ballet, and said I needed to correct it by not eating anything. I hear that all the time. Yeah, uh, that, that was not good. <laughs> Frick me, man. How, you know. What about swimming? Uh, I don't know how to swim. I never learned how to swim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I never learned how to swim. Uh, but yeah, my, my ballet teacher was, a uh, Shit. <laughs> she Sounds was, like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. was, uh, she was very strict. She was very strict and very, like, old school, like... Old school, like from the olden times ballet, where it's like, where it's like, if you want to be a ballerina, you need to weigh zero pounds. <laughs> when you turn to the side, I cannot see you. I should not be able to see you at all. <laughs> you must be able to fall, slip through a crack in the floor. Yeah, yeah. You see this sheet of paper? You should not be thicker than this. Damn shit, girl. That paper is thick. She would smack. Oh my god. So, uh, uh, of course you can't do that now. But I remember she would like smack our asses and shit. And she'd be like, she, she'd smack our asses. And she'd be like, lift up my table. I want to eat on my table. When we would like have to like raise our legs and shit. Are you? Are you sure you went to a ballet studio? <laughs> I did! I did! It was, it was a... I, I did, I did. Or, perhaps you were... Maybe that's like you went at the time slot where it's not ballet, but like... Ballet dominatrix class? <laughs> maybe? Perhaps? Because, um... I know places like that, you know, rented spaces where you're like, in daytime, this is a happening bar or something. And at night, people, um, dress in latex and hit each other. Oh. So perhaps, yeah, I think you went to the wrong class. Well then, I don't know. You cheap. She got. She, she got some issues, man. I'm sorry that she wanted to eat off your ass, and it was not to her standards. <laughs> I apologize. It's just. It, listen, this is how those hardcore dance studios used to be back, back, back when, when, uh, back in the day, back when, back in the day, which is still probably existing now, even though I don't attend that school anymore. You should you should call her up. You should call her up and ask her if she's still crazy and has unrealistic expectations. She's probably retired because she was really old when I was there, so she's probably very re very much retired. What and she very mean? much eating on a table. That's not a there, leg. There there is a chart that's absolutely true. And if you were a certain level of mean, you can never die. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Tell me I'm wrong, Chet. Tell me you don't know a crazy old person and it's like, you're too mean to die. Please confirm it. Oh, oh my. You know, I think that that's true. <laughs> <laughs> the hatred and the rage fuels them inside. Yes! Yes, absolutely! They have this ball of cruelty that they've been cultivating for decades. And and eventually it will probably implode, to be realistic. But that's hundreds of years from now! What?! Definitely! Hmm? Oh, I... you're me! Aww. Hmm? What? Wait, what? What? Huh? <laughs> eh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> do you 
Oh, somebody wrote, my mother works in elder care. Can't confirm. <laughs> See? <laughs> Evil I... never dies. We all know that. The good die young and the mean and... The mean live forever as they feed off the souls of the youth. Well, the, it, it, the, the, the classes that I attended, uh, I, uh... I, I, if I can recall correctly, uh, basically when I attended class, uh, it was, it was under the mentality of thought where basically they said, if you don't fuck up your feet and destroy them, you're not a real dancer. <laughs> yep, 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 And I, yep. I saw the girls doing point and I saw how ravaged their feet were and I was like, I don't want that to happen to my feet. And then, and then. <sighs> And then the teacher was like, your dedication is disgusting. You have lack of motivation, lack of dedication. You'll never be a ballerina without with that thought of mine. If your feet don't look worse than this, you would never be a good ballerina. And I'm like, okay, well, bye. <laughs> if you don't have your feet amputated by 35, it's done. Oh, you're, you're a disgrace. Dude, my friend, she kept on, she kept on dancing and like her feet, I don't know how she was even standing because the things I saw. Have you heard about the chocolate box thief? So scary! She's always got a few. Her poor feet. Leave. Just her feet just looking. It, well, you know, doing? a lot of people don't know that when a girl dances ballet and she goes on point, the point mm. shoes inside those point shoes is a block of wood. Yeah. <laughs> so you're basically on your tippy toes on a block of hard wood. Not only are you on a block of hard wood, you have to dance and jump on your feet, on your toes. So you're jumping on the block of wood while you're jumping on a wooden floor. <laughs> oh shit, I bet some people don't know that. Did a you know that, A lot of people Jeff? don't know that. <laughs> Somebody's like, what? Jeffrey For real? Yeah. It's the same as foot binding in like ancient what, China and such, especially with with geishas in Japan with foot binding. And oh, I'm sorry. I looked at ballerina feet without shoes. I'm sorry. That was a bad idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The, oh. it, it, you need to like, don't Google ballerina feet. <laughs> don't do it. Also, don't don't Google geisha feet because they will break your feet so that they fit shoes, so you can have your feet like half the size of what your foot would have been. Somebody's like, how do you spin? Using the your gravity in your body, you have to use your leg to pull, to like propel your body to spin, while your feet, is while your toes are balancing on a block of wood. <laughs> Speaking of giving someone wood, I'm sending you a DM. <laughs> oh, I can't wait! 